Nur are worried after a car plastered with the logo of a Chinese security agency appeared in Hobart. The state government says it's not illegal to impersonate a foreign police force, but it's now seeking advice on whether the law should be changed. A car with a Chinese security agency logo on the streets of Hobart is striking fear in people from Hong Kong. The ute was reported to police by a man who asked to be known as Peter. He feels intimidated and has only spoken to the ABC on a condition of anonymity. Whoever is coordinating this, today they're intimidating or inciting fear. Police have spoken with the owner of the ute and say no further action will be taken. I would think that Australia, it's a, it's a free country, it's a safe country. The Tasmanian government is now seeking advice on whether the state's laws should be changed to outlaw impersonating foreign police. Freedom of speech is vital. Uh, we value democracy, uh, but there are uh, no circumstances uh, where people should feel intimidated as a result of exercising their fundamental and basic right to freedom of speech. The Greens will next week move a motion asking Parliament to change the state's laws. We're very concerned for students from Hong Kong, Taiwan and other parts of mainland China who will see these cars and feel intimidated. The Hong Kong tensions have already spilt into Tasmania with pro-democracy posters in a student lounge being repeatedly torn down. The University of Tasmania has refused to say how it's dealt with the students involved. The university is also refusing to comment on this latest incident. Some academics say the stickers are easily purchased online and were likely bought by someone playing a prank. But in this climate, it's anything but funny. We don't know how far they could go in the future. Hong Kongers are appealing for Tasmanian authorities to take action. Emily Baker, ABC News.